We know that we want them to feel like this is their place, that they belong, that they feel safe, they feel accepted, and they feel valued. And so how do we go about doing that? Dakota has a tremendous amount to offer. I mean, between the academic programming, the extracurricular, intramural, the band, musical, I mean, there's lots of things that are going on in Dakota to help students become successful. So then what we need to do is inform the parents of all these pathways. It's a dynamic community, and their children will have opportunities to find themselves through all these different avenues. I enjoy being in the classroom with them and trying to motivate them to learn something, to get better at it, and trying to teach them that perseverance and hard work and dedication as you accomplish some of your academic goals will serve them well as they move beyond Dakota and into, into post-secondary studies. I saw the really strong academics and athletics they had here and that was just really appealing to me. A lot of the lessons I learned in sports, playing in the game, having to cooperate with others on the court and stuff, really helped translate to my uh, classes, working with other students on projects and stuff like that. The Co-op Ed program is a program where our kids are working on individualized education plans. These plans are based on their academic and social needs and they're usually based around um, life skills that they're going to need after Dakota. In our program we have kids with many different skills and learning abilities so I try to make sure that I'm getting to all of those kids. So they're taking uh, their, their programming and they're, they're fitting in just like all the others. A benefit of going to like culturally diverse school is to have an experience on how to uh, work with others that are diverse too. I don't really feel out of place because I know people I can relate to. I can just go up to someone and be like, hey, like I know you're from my country, can you help me with this? And the teachers are absolutely awesome at just willing to help you, to give you like everything you need to succeed. An Indigenous Ed program such as we are really focuses on who the student is where stereotype comes from, and how to move forward. When I first started, I was a very negative person towards myself, and I thought I wasn't going to be standing here today. And I'm very thankful for the ECHO program for helping me with that. I myself, I wear hijab, and playing basketball, I was approached by a ref that told me that uh, I wasn't able to wear the hijab that I was wearing at the time, or he thought it was unsafe. Me and my sister, we introduced a sports hijab to Dakota, and that has now broadened out to other schools, this, the country, the staffs caring, just us feeling like we could speak about it. And I think that's what made me switch from uh, doing medicine to doing social work, because I believe that social work is my, my route. I like to help people, I like to change things. I think it's important for students who maybe don't think that they can be a part of something to see a role model who's in a non-traditional role in order to set an example um, and to see that it is achievable uh, even though there might be certain things like gender or abilities that they might think get in the way. I loved working on cars and I still do to this day. I didn't have the support like we have support now where if there was a woman of any trade, you would have the support. It's just more liberated now than it was back in the 80s. Indigenous students need role models to help uh, see academic achievement. That you need to see uh, role models in lots of different capacities. So having a teacher says that I can do it. I have traveled with Dakota with the band program. I play the trumpet. We went to Japan last year and it was a really, really great experience. When I first started in grade nine, I was playing volleyball and now I'm only into running pretty much. And I wasn't into music at all. I couldn't play a single instrument. Now I play in a band and music is kind of the biggest part of my life. When I came in grade nine, I was pretty shy and introverted. I think uh, the football team was a pretty big influence on who I am today. The uh, team's super inclusive. Everybody on the team became some of my best friends. I think that the Dakota sports pro programs in general are a good uh, microcosm of the school as a whole. I sort of like to broaden out and get like connect with more people, and that mainly happened because of the, the band program at Dakota. It's because of that that I pretty much have all the friends that I have today. <laughs> and it's made me into a 
completely different person. Thank you.